Hi right, guys, so let's have a quick look at the different types of radiation. Uh, well, different types of radioactive decay, actually. So first off, we need to really write down what that is. So radioactive decay is the spontaneous transformation. In other words, it's going to happen on its own of an unstable atomic nucleus into a lighter one. Okay, now what this means is that the radiation is released in the form of an alpha particle or beta particles, and these make it lighter. Now there is also the gamma rays there, which we would write like this, um, but the gamma particles are released with either a beta particle or an alpha particle. They're not released on their own. And there are other types of particles that can happen, such as electron capture. All right, so... Let's have a quick look at what we've got. Alpha particles release a uh, an helium nucleus. Now, the one thing we know about equations is that they need to be equal. In other words, um, if we're over here, all our numbers on this side must add up to the combined numbers on this side. All right. So we start off with radium over here. All right. So this is our radium, and it decays into radon and helium or an alpha particle um, so over here we see that it's helium particle so it's so it's identical to a helium nucleus this has no electrons uh, it's identical to a helium nucleus which means it has two protons and two neutrons the reason that's four is because this is atomic number this is its atomic mass so two two so two protons two neutrons all right now what this looks like is this is a much too heavy atom so it just decays and we see that the atomic number goes to 86 because it changes the number of protons and its atomic mass goes to 222 which means it's lost four nucleons and those are two protons two neutrons um, now let's have a look at beta decay. Now beta decay actually has two um, aspects to it. It has the, so we're looking at carbon-14 here, um, you have negative beta decay. Now negative beta decay is pretty cool, pretty cool. It's what is happening here essentially is a neutron, so one of the neutrons in here. So you'll, you'll notice that the mass doesn't change, the mass stays the same, but the atomic number changes. And this is beta negative. Because what's happened is one of the protons in here, no, sorry, one of the neutrons in there has gone from being neutral, being neutral, to being positive. And because you can't upset the balances, when it's done that, it's also let off an electron. So it's now, so you add those together, it's neutral, but it's an electron. So we've had a proton turn into a neutron, um, and it's released a beta particle, which is a high-speed electron, okay? Um, and that's pretty straightforward. Over here, however, we have beta-positive decay. Now, beta-positive decay, one of the protons... So that's where the negative comes, so you've got this high-speed electron. And you also get an anti-neutrino that comes out as well. Okay, the anti-neutrino um, is essentially energy. It's a massless particle. Over here, we have a, a radioactive nitrogen. Okay, um, and we see that the mass number has not changed at all, but the atomic number has changed, and it has gone down. Whereas here the atomic number changed and it went up. Here the atomic number has gone down. And the reason it's done that is because a proton has... So we've got a proton here. It has decayed. And while doing this, it has given off a positron. So to keep it all the same, you now have a neutron plus a positron or a beta particle. Now, that's kind of cool. And all you really need to know is that a positron is the antiparticle, so the exact opposite of an electron. So it's a similar mass as well. So 
with positive beta decay, just in quick summary, the um, atomic mass stays the same, but the number of protons goes down. In negative beta decay, the atomic mass stays the same, but the number of protons goes up. Then we're going to skip past electron capture, and we're going to look at gamma decay. Now basically, gamma decay occurs with one of these guys it can occur with both um, decay uh, alpha and beta decay and what it does is as so the the atom starts out all excited because it's it's lost a particle and as it calms down it releases a photon of light high energy photon very high energy and it's called a gamma ray and these are quite destructive they made the hole so that's you know that's an issue so essentially um gamma radiation can equal the hole that's not cool. Now let's have a quick little summary through the pair of them, or through the three of them. So, um, an alpha helium, sorry, helium, alpha particle is a helium nucle nuclei. It has a mass of four atomic mass units. It has a charge of plus two. And the reason it has this charge of plus two is it has no electrons. It is just a nuclei. Um, but the penetrative power is actually really low. It's essentially stopped by paper. Um, the ionization potential, however, is very, very high. In other words, if it collides with one of your um, atoms, it can change it to something else very easily. Um, behavior in fields, uh, it's been able to be deflected in magnetic and electric fields, and it is attracted towards the negative plate because it has the positive charge. All right, um, and its speed is about 5% the speed of light. Now, that's what C equals. C is the speed of light. Let's have a look at beta particles. Essentially, they are an electron. Um, or, we can do this here, or positron, depending on which type you've got. Um, now, this is all for beta negative. It is pretty much the opposite for beta positive. Okay? So, the charge is negative. They are about a thousandth the size of a proton. Um, so, about a uh, yeah, thousandth of an AMU. Um, the medium penetrative power, they're stopped by aluminium, so you need some shielding to protect yourself. And they have a medium ionization potential. In other words, there's a less of a chance they're going to cause change if they do connect. All right, so they're deflected in um, electromagnetic fields as well as, um, well, electric fields and magnetic fields, and they will move towards the positive plate if it is a beta negative. So that's... Um, beta negative, but if it is beta positive, it will go towards the negative plates. And they move about 20% the speed of light. They're pretty fast. Um, this is quickly what beta decay looks like. So you have a, pro a neutron here, this is again beta negative, turns into a, pro uh, sorry, a proton here and an electron. So N equals P plus E. And this way, all our charge is conserved. Um, then we have gamma rays. Now, again, this accompanies other things. It does not occur on its own. So a gamma ray um, is the composition, which means it's a massless particle. It's a, it's a ray. Um, so zero mass, zero charge. Uh, but it because it has zero mass and zero charge, it goes through lots of different things. Um, and you need roughly 10 centimeters of lead to kind of block it out. Um, the ionization potential is low, okay, but it will travel right through you, which means it will hit stuff. And it will, it probably, so it's low, but this is a high cancer causing um, uh, type of radiation because it travels straight through you, which means there's a low chance of ionization, but it's a lot of chance it's going to hit something on the way through. Um, behavior of fields is zero. It does not react to electromagnetic fields at all. And its speed is the speed of light. All right, thanks for hanging in there.